The year 2023 is brought to the silver screen a powerful and thought-provoking film, Oppenheimer, which delves into the intricate and morally complex story of the Manhattan Project. This historical drama takes us back to the era of World War II, exploring the fascinating and controversial life of physicist J. Robert Oppenheimer and the team of scientists he led to develop the first atomic bomb. The movie sheds light on the ethical dilemmas, scientific challenges, and personal sacrifices faced by these individuals as they change the course of history forever. The film boasts an impressive ensemble cast consisting of talented actors who bring these historical figures to life. Let's take a closer look at the cast, their real ages, and their life partners. You are the man who gave them the power to destroy themselves. Killian Murphy as J. Robert Oppenheimer. Bringing the complex character of physicist J. Robert Oppenheimer to life in the movie Oppenheimer is none other than the talented Killian Murphy. Born on May 25, 1976, Murphy's portrayal is nothing short of captivating, capturing the very essence of Oppenheimer's brilliance and the moral dilemmas that marked the era of the atomic bomb's development. The 47-year-old's performance skillfully navigates the intricate web of emotions and decisions that Oppenheimer faced during the Manhattan Project. His portrayal showcases Oppenheimer's intellectual prowess and the internal conflicts that arose as scientific progress collided with ethical considerations. Interestingly, Murphy's own life resonates with the themes he portrays on screen. In 2004, he married Yvonne McGuinness, who he encountered in 1996 at one of his band's shows. The couple's journey led them from London, where they resided between 2001 and 2015, to their current home in Dublin, the birth of their two sons in December 2005 and July 2007 parallels the personal dynamics that underlie Oppenheimer's story. And the world is not prepared. Florence Pugh as Jean Tatlock. In the historical drama Oppenheimer, Florence Pugh steps into the role of Jean Tatlock, bringing depth and emotion to the character. Born on January 3, 1996, Pugh's portrayal captures the essence of Tatlock's significance in physicist J. Robert Oppenheimer's life. Away from the real, Hugh's own life takes an interesting turn in February 2023. The 27-year-old was spotted spending time with photographer and director Charlie Gooch. This moment in her personal life caught the attention of the media and fans alike, marking a departure from her past relationship with Zach Braff. Charlie Hood's role as a photographer and director adds an artistic element to the connection, linking Pugh's personal life to her career in the entertainment industry. This is a national emergency. Robert Downey Jr. as Louis Strauss. In the movie Oppenheimer, the skilled actor Robert Downey Jr. takes on the role of Louis Strauss, bringing depth and authenticity to the character. Born on April 4, 1965, the 58-year-old's portrayal adds an intriguing layer to the narrative. Beyond the screen, Downey Jr.'s personal journey has also been marked by significant life events. In 1984, he began dating actress Sarah Jessica Parker. However, their relationship faced challenges, leading to their separation in 1991 due to his struggles with drug addiction. Downey Jr.'s own marital journey began with his marriage to actress and singer Deborah Falconer on May 29, 1992, following a whirlwind courtship of just 42 days. Their union brought forth a son in September 1993, adding a familial dimension to Downey Jr.'s personal life. In 2003, Downey Jr.'s path crossed with producer Susan Levin, who was an executive vice president of production at Silver Pictures. Their connection grew, leading to their marriage in August 2005, marked by a Jewish ceremony. Didn't need a charge. Emily Blunt as Kitty Oppenheimer. The movie Oppenheimer showcases the remarkable talents of Emily Blunt, who takes on the role of Kitty Oppenheimer with finesse and depth. Born on February 23, 1983, Blunt's portrayal adds a layer of emotion and complexity to the character. At 40 years of old, she has crafted a successful career in the entertainment industry, earning acclaim for her versatile roles. However, her personal journey has also been marked by a love story that captures the hearts of many. Blunt's well-loved and admired relationship with actor John Krasinski has become a beacon of enduring love in Hollywood. The couple's interviews and public appearances are a testament to their genuine admiration for each other. Their chemistry and playfulness shine through in their interactions, showcasing a partnership that thrives both on screen and off. Their dynamic relationship, characterized by fun interviews and heartfelt displays of affection, resonates with audiences who appreciate their authenticity and genuine connection. As a couple, Blunt and Krasinski's journey is a reminder that love and companionship can flourish amidst the demands of a high-profile career. We're in a race against the Nazis. Matt Damon as General Leslie Groves. In the film Oppenheimer, 
The role of Lieutenant General Leslie Groves Jr. is masterfully portrayed by none other than the talented actor Matt Damon. Born on October 8, 1970, Damon's portrayal of General Groves adds depth and authenticity to the character, offering audiences a glimpse into the pivotal military leader's role during the development of the atomic bomb. The 52-year-old's portrayal brings to life the tensions between scientific vision and military strategy, creating a compelling on-screen dynamic. Outside of his on-screen endeavors, Matt Damon's personal life is marked by a love story that has captured the public's affection. Since 2005, he has been married to Luciana Barroso, creating a bond that has stood the test of time. Their love story has been enriched by the addition of four children, reflecting their commitment to family. Damon's dedication to both his craft and his loved ones showcases a well-rounded perspective on life, a trait that undoubtedly influences his performances. And I know what it means. Ravi Malek as David L. Hill In the film Oppenheimer, Ravi Malek takes on the role of David L. Hill, adding depth and intrigue to the character. Or on May 12, 1981, Malek's portrayal of Hill captures the essence of his role in the Manhattan Project. Beyond his role on screen, Ravi Malek's personal life has also garnered attention. Recently, the 42-year-old's romantic connection with the Crown star Emma Corrin has been a topic of discussion. The confirmation of their relationship adds a layer of intrigue to Malek's public persona. Previously, Malek was in a five-year relationship with Lucy Boynton, who he met on the set of Bohemian Rhapsody in 2018. Their connection, born out of shared professional experiences, led to a notable partnership that caught the attention of fans and the media alike. Nazis have a bond. Jack Quaid as Richard Feynman In Oppenheimer, Jack Quaid steps into the role of the renowned physicist Richard Feynman, creating a captivating portrayal that adds depth to the movie. Born on April 24, 1992, to famous parents Dennis Quaid and Meg Ryan, Quaid's performance as Feynman brings his character's brilliance and uniqueness to life on screen. Outside of his acting career, the 31-year-old's personal life is marked by intriguing connections. Currently dating Claudia Dumont, his co-star from the action fiction series The Boys, Quaid's romantic relationship adds an element of shared creativity to his personal journey. Their on-screen chemistry translates to real-life connections, reflecting the intersections of work and personal relationships. Emma Dumont as Jackie Oppenheimer In Oppenheimer, Emma Dumont takes on the role of Jackie Oppenheimer, offering a portrayal that adds depth to the movie's narrative. Born on November 15, 1994, Dumont's performance as Jackie captures the nuances of her character's journey within the Manhattan Project. Among the limited information available, it is speculated that the 28-year-old is dating Varda Aurora, an Indian artist and musician. While the two co-starred in the film Wrong Turn and are known to be good friends, their romantic relationship is shrouded in privacy. I have a 12-month head start. 18. How could you possibly know that? Devin Bostic as Seth Nettermeyer. In Oppenheimer, David Bostick takes on the role of Seth Nettermeyer, contributing to the film's depth with his portrayal. Born on November 13, 1991, Bostick's performance as Nettermeyer adds authenticity to the depiction of historical events. Outside of his acting career, the 31-year-old's personal life has garnered attention. Rumored to be in a romantic relationship with actress Dylan Jalula, for the past year, Bostick's connection adds a layer of personal experience to his journey as an actor. This off-screen connection highlights the intersections of professional relationships and personal connections that can form the world of entertainment. We've got one hope. Josh Peck as Kenneth Bainbridge. From former Nickelodeon child star to accomplished actor, Josh Peck, now 36, takes on the role of Kenneth Bainbridge in Oppenheimer. Born on November 10, 1986, Peck's portrayal adds depth and historical significance to the movie's narrative. Beyond his acting career, Josh Peck's personal life has seen significant milestones. In 2017, he married his longtime girlfriend Paige O'Brien, marking a transition from his child star days to adult life. The couple's journey has since been expanded with the arrival of two children, reflecting their shared commitment to family life. All America's industrial might and scientific innovation connected here. Secret Laboratory. Josh Hartnett as Ernest Lawrence. In Oppenheimer, Josh Hartnett takes on the role of Ernest Lawrence, contributing his talent to the portrayal of historical events. Born on July 21, 1978, Hartnett's performance adds depth and authenticity to the movie's narrative. Outside of his acting career, the 43-year-old is known for his low-key and private nature, a trait that he shares with his wife, Tamson Egerton. In 2021, after nearly a decade of dating, Hartnett and Egerton married in secret, highlighting their preference for a quiet and intimate life away from the public eye. 
their approach to privacy extends to their family life as well. Hartnett and Egerton managed to keep the birth of their third child out of the press for over a year, showcasing their commitment to shielding their personal lives from the media's scrutiny. The cinematic journey into Oppenheimer unveils a world where historical figures come alive through the exceptional performances of the cast. With dedication and talent, these actors breathe life into characters that shaped our history, providing insights into their complexities and emotions. Beyond the screen, the actors' personal stories intertwine with the characters they embody, further enriching the experience. These connections between real lives and historical events demonstrate the lasting impact of the past on our present. To stay connected with the captivating world of cinema and explore more stories like Oppenheimer, we invite you to like, comment, and subscribe.